hottest 20-year-old Ben Liu was being compared to Stephen Hawking. His perfect SAT math score led to enrollment at MIT, where he holds a perfect 5.0 GPA. And while his mind is one of the sharpest out there, his body has long been a challenge. At six months old, he was diagnosed with a rare disease, spinal muscular atrophy, that is similar to ALS, a condition that leaves him wheelchair-bound and reliant on the care of his mother, who left her career as a software programmer to help her son with his physical care. How many hours a day are you working with Ben? 16. 16 hours. Despite his physical challenges, the power of his mind has proven to have no limits. In the fourth grade, Ben began studying calculus. By age 11, he beat out 50,000 participants to take home the gold medal at the Alibaba World Math Team Competition in Beijing. He's now a junior at MIT. And joining us now is physicist and philosopher Ben Liu. Ben, thank you very much for taking the time. Really appreciate it. Hello, thanks for having me. So is college boring for you? I mean, even at MIT, are the classes challenging enough? Well, the thing about MIT is if you want to challenge yourself, you can. So <laughs> um, what I like to um, do is, of course, uh, take these challenging classes because there's so many interesting things to learn and there's not enough time to spend on boring classes. And even with, even say if I'm taking a somewhat easier class, uh, there's a standard that I set for myself in which I try to understand the material so well that I can teach it myself. And that sort of standard is both challenging and rewarding. Well, let me ask you uh, with regard to your physical limitations, can you take notes? Can you type? Well, I can, so I, I can type with one finger at a very slow rate. And other than that, I use dragon dictation. So it's very tough for someone sitting next to you to cheat off you, because my guess is that you'd be the guy that anyone in college wants to be sitting next to. So it'd be very hard for them to cheat off you. That's my guess. <laughs> Yeah, I try to do everything in my head. So um, the what I've learned due to my the, the dis difficulty of me writing scratch work, uh, I've trained myself to do a lot of math in my head. So basically, I try to turn every concept into a mental image. And then I've learned that by doing this, I can manipulate complex concepts uh, without writing a single symbol. Wow. Talk to us about some of the physical limitations that you have. Yeah, so I have the disease spinal muscular atrophy, and it's a rare genetic debilitating disease with no cure. And um, death before age 20 is normal. But um, I, rely, I rely entirely on my caregivers to do basic tasks of living, such as eating or using the restroom. Mm, wow. So talk to me about your goals uh, for the future. Um, we're hoping for a, a long future for you. So what are, what are your aspirations? Thank you. Uh, well, my aspirations, there are three. First is to become a professor of physics and research the most fundamental questions of the universe. Uh, the second is to become an advisor for an assistive technology company because I want to share my insights on how to better build, uh, to better innovate technology that will grant more independence to people like me. And my final goal is to uh, raise funds, do charity work, uh, basically raise funds for effective organizations such as um, rare disease organizations and also uh, organizations helping people living in poverty uh, meet their basic needs and um, get a better education, all that important stuff. Those sound like some achievable and amazing aspirations. Final question is about, uh, about your mom. How important has, uh, has she been for you? Oh, instrumental. So she, she, um, you know, she does everything for me, like from the start of the day to the end of the day. You know, when I wake up, you know, someone has to put on my clothes help me, you know, drink water and um, do all the morning routines. Then she does a ton of uh, 
treatments on me. She does acupuncture massages. She has bought a whole host of instruments and uh, medical devices that she uses to keep my body healthy, stretching, so many things. And honestly, I don't know what I would do without her. So it's, um, and, and we have to prepare for, for the day in which she can't take care of me, which is going to be a, a very difficult time. But so, yeah, very, very important. I'm really grateful. All right. So we want to give your mom a big shout out and a big hello and a big uh, thank you uh, on behalf of everyone. Ben, thanks so much for taking the time uh, to share your story with us. Really appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.